So our Fairfax County Public Library is closed for interior services in early January. And now that things are settling a bit and people are more vaccinated, we knew it was time to reopen our doors again. So on March 22nd, we reopened for interior express services. It's not quite normal services, but it's a variation on it with time limits and capacity limits in place so people can use the library inside, but continue to be safe and secure. All of our public branches have limits in place. We have capacity limits. If you come to a regional library, we allow in 60 members of the public. If you come to a community branch, it's 30. We also have time limits. You can come and visit for 30 minutes. So think of it as a quick service visit. Use the computers, check out a book, chat with your favorite staff member, but then move it along so someone else can come in. You can browse the shelves. You can do many of the favorite things you love to do in the library, but we don't have in-person programming and we don't have meeting rooms available at this time. We are continuing curbside, so people who prefer to remain distance have that option available. All of our virtual services remain, including online programming. But for those folks that miss that interpersonal connection, that community hub that the library is for them, we are back open for those people. One of the small silver linings of the pandemic has been that the library has been able to transition to virtual programming in a fairly seamless manner. Previously, if you wanted to come to Storytime, you had to check and see what time your branch was having it, make sure that you could accommodate in your schedule. But now, with it all online, you can just hop on with your kids and it's ready to go for you. Some of them are live streaming, some of them are saved and you can watch them whenever you want. And one of the other additional bright points for us has been how much people have responded to adult programming online. Book clubs, author visits, um, English language learner groups, all of those have seen remarkable increase in usership because many of the barriers have been taken away to accessing them in person. If you want to go and look at any of our online offerings, just go to the library's website, check on our events page, and you can sort by virtual programmings and virtual services. The message that I really want to convey to our users is that we've missed you and we're happy that you want to come back into the branch. And those of you that don't want to, we're happy you want to keep using curbside services, but we're also gratified to see how valuable the library has been to you during this difficult time. It's been difficult for all of us. Nobody has enjoyed this year of seclusion and masks, but it's also shown us that some things are universal that knowledge and education and entertainment are necessary components of our lives and that the library is critical to that. So we are thrilled that we're here to provide those services for you, our residents. We'll give you a good wave from six feet apart when we see you next time. If you'd like to learn anything more about the library's express services, which are provided Monday and Tuesday, 10 to 8, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 6, please visit our website at www.fairfaxcounty.gov library.